Hello everyone. Uh, so today we'll be looking into how we can install the latest Java JDK inside the Ubuntu machine. So prior to the April 2019, we were simply able to install Oracle JDK via the apt get command. But after the license update, it is been mandatory that we log into the Oracle site and download the product from there itself. So, so let's try to download the latest JDK. If you want to install a previous version, you can search for the links appropriately. Okay, now we are in the uh, JDK 12.0 download page. So in here, let's click the accept license. And what we need to actually download is the tar.gc file. So I'm going to download it by clicking on the link. Okay, the download has completed, but let's say if you want to install this JDK in a remote server, there are two options. Either you can take the downloaded file over here and copy it to the remote server, or if you want to straight away download the JDK inside a remote server, we cannot simply copy this URL and like call a wget command inside the remote server. So we need to send some additional headers there's a stack overflow question which actually answers uh, provides answers to this question for each and every Java version. So you can browse through and select the appropriate commands for this. So in order to move forward, I have set up a remote server here. So let's start configuring things in the remote server. In order to begin with, let's copy the header information we need in order to download the file in the remote location. But if you are trying out in a local machine, then you don't need to follow this step. You can actually skip this step of downloading it in the remote version. Now what, uh, what we have to do is we need to go to the initial Oracle login page and copy the link address. Then let's paste it over here. Now you can see the file is actually getting downloaded and for convenience I have already downloaded the file for us so let's start configuring the file from there onwards. As I have downloaded in the remote machine it's actually under my home directory but if you are in like if you have downloaded in the local file it will be in the downloads file. So what we need to like notice the actual location of this file. So first, let's create a folder called JPM inside the lib directory. Then what we need to do is we need to navigate to the directory which we have created. Then we need to unzip the tar file which we have downloaded. So please note this is the actual link of the file so if you have downloaded in a different location please replace the link accordingly now what we need to do is we need to set up the environment variables for the new java binary so i'll be using an editor called nano if you have any other preferences please use them accordingly now initially what we need to do is we need to set up the path but before that uh, Let's go inside the extracted folder and actually get, copy the entire path. So this will be useful when updating the environment variables. Now let's go to the environment file and update the environment config. So initially the path can be updated by having a colon and the actual whole file path of the binary. Then what we need to do is we need to update the Java home variable as well. After updating this, we can exit by saving by doing control X, then pressing the Y key. Then what we need to do is we need to inform Ubuntu regarding the new Java's location. So we need to copy this command in order to inform the Ubuntu regarding the new, new location. So please note, I'll be cop this is the exact location of the new new Java binary which we have copied. If you have any, if you have installed in another location, you need to put the appropriate location here. So let's put it. 
near so currently what we did is we set up the java now we need to set up java c as well now we need to put some additional two commands in order to configure, configure them i'll be copying all these commands in the description below so you can also copy them and test it out now let's actually see whether the configurations has actually worked out so when we copy this it should actually list down the file path of the new binary so it is working for java let's see whether it's working for java c as well okay it's working now we can test out whether the java is fully configured by inserting java version yes we can see it has installed the java 12.0 jdk and if you are wondering like whether you can use the environment variable of the java home is as well it, it will be empty because this environment file will, will be reloaded when you restart the system only if you want to immediately take this into effect then you should put this environment variable inside the bash rc or profile rc file and immediately reload it so that's that's it guys so hope this this was very useful thank you